And you want to talk about a resume in your, in your announcements. Tokyo Monster Gahaga is an absolute legend in the sport of professional wrestling. The fact that we're getting to see him here in a WWE Improving Ground ring. This is big, but speaking of big, it's going to be a hell of a challenge for Big Nick Quinones. Oh, Dante Brown. The Tokyo Monster Cahagas is in. Just unearthly. Ridiculous. Give it to Big Nick stepping up here, being willing to answer the open challenge to face the near 20 year veteran, the Tokyo Monster Cahagas. And I'm telling you, man, if there was a opportunity to turn heads in the sport of professional wrestling for Nick Quinones, a showing, a successful showing here against Cahagas could change his career. Trevin, it is no exaggeration. When I first was introduced to true independent wrestling here in Florida, almost a decade ago, Cahagas was on the top of that mountain. He is on that Mount Rushmore. He is a, a name that anyone who's ever stepped across the ring from him, a shiver goes up their spine, and for good reason. And the fact that Nick just got to shake that man's hand, I'd go home after this. I'd be like, I got it, goodbye because this is on another level. Like you said, we're talking career maker potential here. Well, and that's it. I think this is the reality of the situation for Nick is you had the respect coming in now, now you gotta earn the respect coming out as that arm's getting twisted off by the Tokyo Monster. And you heard it, an NWA national champion, an NWA North American heavyweight champion, and of course the NWA world heavyweight champion. The first and only triple crown champion in the NWA. That's a hell of a credential as the arm being twisted there, let alone countless other championships throughout the sport of professional wrestling. And, and again, to be able to have Tokyo Monster Cahagas here on the WWE Improving Ground, what an opportunity. You've already seen that. Ooh, wow. So quick. Both of these athletes, but you've already seen the legacy of Cahagas through those Thunder Championship Wrestling young athletes, but how about this? Going into this thing, looking at, at, at what Nick has in front of him here, I'm thinking to myself, okay, 
it's not about winning or losing. It's about just don't waste Cahagas' Cah time. Just, just be able to go the distance, and that's enough. And to see something like that, an exchange like that, unbelievable. This is this is just you talk about dream scenarios to be in a matchup like this. This is this is everything right now here at Proving Ground. There is an absolute intimidation factor when Tokyo Monster Cahagas comes out of that curtain. And i got to give it to Nick, not only staying in this thing, but now with that control of the arm, but Cahagas quickly getting to the ropes. This is... There's so much tape to study of the Tokyo Monster, but... It, it's one of those things where when you're living it in real time, it's on a complete other level. Yeah, and, and again, Quinones trying to keep control of things here, has the arm of Cahagas, and, but Cahagas so smart getting into those ropes, forcing the break. Hey, I'm telling you, fundamentals, and look at the anger on the face of Cahagas. This is not where you want to be. You do not want to anger this man. Don't forget Dante Brown's out there, too. Oh. Well, again. Somebody put that on my highlight reel. I would never, I would, that, I put that on a t-shirt. I shook this man's hand, and he didn't just punch me in the mouth for it. Well, now the lockup, and of course it's Cahagas doubling up the offensive and turning things up to 11. It's Quinones, not like, ooh, 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 dumped in the corner, but the shot. And another lighting up the chest, the big Nick. Mm. If you ever wanted a souvenir, uh, you've got it, because good lord, those chops. Well, it was the prophecy from Dante Brown. He said, prepare to have hamburger meat for a chest, and we're well on our way here, but but Quinones fighting back. And what a kick to the small of the back of Gahagas, and that second kick, now they connect, now the senton. Shock and all, is this enough? No, two count. This is what it's all about. This has got to be the game plan, is just try to catch this living legend off balance. Just try to surprise him as best you can, and just, or just try to survive. Yeah, that's, oof, that's exactly it. You said before, you want to go the distance. You want to be able to have a good showing. Heck, you want to win. That really is what it comes down to. And right now, the choke... Cahagas, the official finally having to get in there. Cahagas refusing to break things. Man, if this wasn't one of the, the biggest matchups in Proving Ground history, you got to think that would have been a disqualification. Official given some leniency here. Absolutely. If this was any other matchup, this thing would be thrown out the window. But stakes this high and with this level of importance going on, you got to bend the rules a little bit. Well, and, and again got a legacy trained by guys like Hector Guerrero, Prince Iakea. You know, the, the, the thing is, Cahagas is just a physical specimen. What a chop. You saw Nick was trying to throw some chops, and Cahagas is like, pardon me. I'm going to grab this chair here. And, uh, Excuse you? We are outside of the ring right now, so I think the referee might give a little bit of leniency here. You can even see Cahagas is tossing it in, going, what are you going to do if I do it inside of the ring? That's the problem when you're dealing with literally a monster, is who's going to tell him, yeah, I don't think so. It's the water bottle just thrown into the face of Nick Quinones, and I think our junior official, Tom Nicoco, has no clue how to handle this. you got to think there's that fear. I don't want to throw the match out, but by the same token, use that chair in the ring. You have to throw the match out. The official finally get the chair out. As Cahagas comes in, what a stop. Again, it's one of those cases where what's the fate worse than death here? Making that guy mad. That is it. Well, and, and indeed, and it's proving ground for the officials as well. It's a big opportunity here for Dominic Coco. And now the pin. Is this it? And I'm impressed on how fast Cahagas followed that up into the submission. That is the difference maker. That is a showcasing... That's how you become a triple crown legend, is pin, oh, didn't work, immediate into submission. Not not a moment's hesitation. Immediate onto the next strategy, the next plan. That is why he is on the level he is on. 
Yeah, Cahagas made it look easy. But Nick, starting to get to the feet. You hear WWE Faithful trying to get behind Nick Quinones. And is Nick going to be able to follow up? Yes, he is. Clotheslines connect. Coming, showing some fire, catching Cahagas in the corner. Oh, but out of the way. Tokyo Monster, live it up to the moniker. Yeah, absolutely. 100%, no exaggeration on that name. And Big Nick is in serious trouble here. It's a bugging in the corner. Cahagas in absolute control here. But perhaps, I was going to say, did Kegas give Nick too much time for recover? But I guess not. What a lariat. Is this the end? No. Instead, submission. Got about a half a bow and arrow there. Look at the way the foot is in the face of Quinones. Pain and disrespect in equal helpings here. A lesser man would be tapping out. Oh, finally has to. Wow. Credit to Quinones in that submission for so long before he tapped to Cahagas taking his happy time breaking it. Breaking the hold and nearly breaking a man. What a battle here at WWE Improving Ground. Yeah, just absolutely has not lost a step. It's still at the top of the mountain when it comes to independent wrestling. Dante Brown clearly proud to be in the same ring, but wow, what a showcase for Big Nick. And again, going the distance is big enough on its own. That was really, really incredible. Yeah, absolutely. A very competitive match here, but victory for the Tokyo Monster, Cahagas. A great having Cahagas here at WWE Improving Ground, as well as a legend in managing Dante Brown. What a night it's been tonight. We still got our main event to go.